greetings families i greet the church in the name of the lord i want to thank you all for such a sacrifice and we thank you all for affording yourself an opportunity to listen to his word in this morning we want to thank the lord for giving us yet another day for the blessed sabbath when we read in psalm 34 verse 15 says the eyes of the lord are upon the righteous and his ears upon are always open unto their cry we are now saying the lord has been listening to us the lord's eyes has been upon to us we have come this far just by faith it is god's grace that we are today it is god's grace that we have managed to see the day for today you will realize that if we read again in the, in the, in the bible you will realize that the angels of the lord will always encompass upon those who fear him those who call upon his name those who always spend a second a minute calling upon you don't need to cry you need only to contemplate you need only to think uh, the, but the bible says i have hidden your way in my heart that i may not sin against you even though we have faltered in many things it is only by god's grace that we were not consumed like the children of israel the men of them survived through the Red Sea, many of them passed through the Red Sea, many of them survived through the, the wilderness. But if you go again into the Bible, it says, it is clear that during the day, they were all under the shadow of God. During the night, there was a pillar of light that God gave to them. You will see that Exodus chapter 13, verse 22, uh, 22 it says, uh, God was always with them. But however, if we go to Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 15, it is says, even though they all passed through the Red Sea, even though they all ate manna, even though all of them, they saw them wonders, even though they drank water from the rock, even though they passed through manna, but the saddest part is God was not pleased with them. Is God pleased with me? Is God pleased with you? Even though we have passed through by faith from January to December, even though we passed through coronavirus, even though some survived losses, job losses, even though some of them, there were many things that should have found them, many accidents, many disasters, we have come this far by faith, not by, by works, not by mighty, nor by, by our power, but by God's spirit. My question is, is God pleased with, with me? Is God pleased with you? Is God pleased with you? Even though you survived all these hardships, even though you went through coronavirus and you survived, some of them, they were on ventilators. Some of them, they, they were not even affected. But is God pleased with you? During this time, the year was so tough. The hair had many challenges. The hair had many things that we went through. Everyone can confirm this is the first time in history where we say January, February, March, and then we jumped to October, November, December. And some of them, even the school children, could not make it. Some of them, they were going for a few days, but many, we are talking of millions, did not make it. Even though they went through the cloud, uh, under the cloud, even though they, went, they had all the blessings from God, but God was not pleased with them. We have come, brethren this far by faith it is the only faith hebrew says faith is the evidence of things not seen the substance of things that cannot be touched nobody knew that we, we were going to make it people had plans they laid down all their plans to say it was a year of prosperity 2020 so, so, so many people had laid down resolutions but god knew everything we are now not by our power nor by might, but by only by God's grace. God saved you, God saved me, God saved us. We are now crossing over to the other side of the shore. We are now crossing over to 2021. The question is, are you ready? The question is, is God pleased by you? It doesn't matter what you have accomplished or what you didn't accomplish. The major question is, is God pleased by you? for God to allow me to cross over to this other side of 2021. Some of us are not going to make it. Men will not cross to this 2021 if God is not pleased by you. Only by God's grace. 
I want us to enter into the season of prayer, where each and every one, we are going to have the volunteers. Here's the program coordinator will be coordinating to say who will pray for us. We want to have a season of prayer. This is our last Sabbath for 2020. This year which was full of hardship, the year which was full of problems, the year which had full of challenges. But we are where we are now because of God's grace. Is God pleased by us? If not, like the man on the cross, he was a thief, though he lived a life that everyone was convinced. He was nailed to, cross, to the cross together with Jesus because they knew that he was a thief. But last minute he said, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. And Jesus said, today I'll be with you in paradise. I am saying this last Sabbath, maybe our life was going through tough and thin. Maybe our life was the worst of the worst. But last minute, if we pray today on this Sabbath to say, Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, remember me. Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Definitely, the Lord will remember us into year 2020. We shall enter into a season of prayer. May the Lord bless us. Amen.